Angular Dimensions. Let's go ahead and learn how to add angular dimensions to our design. You can go ahead and open up this project yourself as well. It's named Practice Dimensioning, and you can find this by browsing to your project files, navigating to Chapter 9, and opening up Practice Dimensioning. I'll go ahead and cancel this myself. Under the Annotation panel, you can find the Angular Dimensioning tool. We'll go ahead and activate that. And now AutoCAD is asking us to select the arc, circle, line, or to specify a vertex. Let's go ahead and specify a line. I'll select this line here and a second line here. And once we do that, you see we have this angular dimension. We'll go ahead and place one here. Let's reactivate the command again. And let's do one on the top. I'll go ahead and select the line here and here. And as you can see, I can add a dimension from this side or this side, or even come down here and provide another dimension. I'll go ahead and add a dimension there. And just like with the linear dimensions that we previously learned, we can also go to the Annotate tab, come to the Dimension panel, and we can also use the Continue and the Baseline Dimensioning. Let's select Continue. Now if I continue, I go ahead and continue dimensioning to the next point. I can go ahead and specify any point that I need to. So I will snap to this line here. And there's my next dimension. And I can continue dimensioning to here, 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 and here, or any other point that you need. And AutoCAD will go ahead and dimension each of those points. For our design, we exactly don't need that. So I'll go ahead and select them, delete, and I'll just leave this one for now. Let's go ahead and try one more. I'm going to activate angular dimension. And this time, I'm going to keep the specify vertex. That's default. So I'll go ahead and do that by pressing enter. And now I need to specify an angle for the vertex. So where's the angle vertex that we're going to choose? I will go ahead and choose this point here. Now I need to specify the first angle endpoint. Let's say I want to know an angle from this point here over to this point here. Now I have an angle. I will mm, place this maybe here. So as you can see, there's a variety of ways to add an angular dimension. And by combining it with the previously learned continue and baseline dimensions, you can add dimensions to just about any angle.